This is Dabu7 with an update to some things going on in the stratosphere. Some of you might remember the story about the small metallic balls that were discovered in the stratosphere that had some kind of uh, fluid inside of it that they believe was microbial life. Well, this was all brought about by Dr. Wainwright that you see here, him and his crew that were doing these different tests on the stratosphere. And what they've discovered now is pretty crazy. They have launched a series of magnets arranged in different ways into the stratosphere. And in doing so, they discovered quite a few weird things. And what they're saying you're looking at here is actually an entity. An entity, a life form that you're seeing that attached to a grain of salt. This is a crystal of salt. And then out of nowhere, this horned creature erupts from one surface and they captured it. They're saying that this is solid proof that there is life in space. It may not look like a dog. It may not look like a fish. It may not look like a butterfly that you're used to. But they're finding more and more proof that these things exist. So what do you expect? Mainstream media, Harvard, Yale, all these other places you come out and be like, oh no, it's just, it's whatever. But they're going to give you no proof. I want you to remember that. When they challenge what Wayne Wright and his crew are putting out there, they come back with no proof. Zero. And at this point, people can speculate what is it all day long. They're not even sure. All they know is that it's a crystal of salt in this entity, a living, moving, horned entity appeared. And it's in my opinion that these things are all over the place. Um, there's objects, if you do your research, that have been caught on film here in our atmosphere that look like corkscrews that zip through the air. And there's some kind of organism that is here present. And just because the sheep don't know about it or National Discovery or National Geographic hasn't uh, shown you it, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It's time people start to realize you're being lied to on so many levels. And if you ever want to get the truth, you're going to have to reach out and seek it. Because they're sure as hell not going to teach you none of this in school or your kids for that matter. It's going to continue to get worse and worse with this indoctrination of what they want everyone to believe. The reality of it is, there seems to be life teeming everywhere. And I seem to think we're stuck on this rock on quarantine. They know it. They don't want the rest of you to realize this. But it is the case. It is written. And do you think that with a life form like a human being on this planet that can do so much evil and can destroy so much of its own kind and so much of the plant life and animal life on its own planet that there would be any intelligent life out there that would want to see you come up off this rock whatsoever? I don't think so. Start using logic. And if this was a planet that just had life on it and you gave it all a choice what would you want to keep you would want to keep those that made the right choice that did the right thing and how are they going to get that well you give it a conscience and you give it free will just like you have so the choice is yours what you do with it is truly on you and it makes every bit of difference if you're going to make it up off this rock. Or you can stay grounded down right where they want you, right here, where they can just keep on turning you back up and through. Or you can elevate up off this plane. And the way to it is righteousness. I say it all the time and that's real. We can debate all day. You don't have to hate one another. Okay? 
And I think we all know there's plenty of things going on out here that they're keeping from us. And this is one of the smallest, most minute. And there could be millions of these things out there in the stratosphere, all kinds of life. But unless you go looking, you're never going to find it because they will always stay lying to you. Much love to all the real cats out there that stay on the grind to get the truth out there, no matter how crazy it may seem, no matter how much flack you may catch. You just remember when you're catching flack, it's because you're right above the target. You keep on dumping. This has been Dabu7. Much love to all of you. Peace.